Hello everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Elite Sports Shooting. My name is Jeff. Today, I'd like to go over the Winchester SXP Hybrid Hunter. But before we get into the review, if you haven't yet clicked that uh, subscribe button, please click that subscribe button. We've got a lot more content. We've got a lot more uh, videos uh, uh, in, in my shop as well as on the range. And uh, if you click that subscribe button, you'll be able to, to get the, uh, the notifications when we've uploaded a new video. So anyways, the XSP Hybrid Hunter. Now, this one here, I've actually had it down the range and I put about 150 rounds through it and I'm really impressed. This is a beautiful shotgun. It is a 12 gauge shotgun. It's got a three and a half inch chamber. So it does shoot those two and three quarter, three inch and three and a half inch shells. And it actually says that it's stamped right on the side of the barrel. So if you're ever in doubt, check the side of the barrel, check the owner's manual. That'll actually give you a good indication and, uh, and check the, uh, the ammunition itself, just to make sure you're shooting the right ammunition for the right uh, firearm that you have. So this one actually says Winchester SX pump, uh, 12 gauge, two and three quarter, three inch, and three and a half inch. It has the 28 inch barrel. It is a pump action shotgun. There's nothing more satisfying than a pump action shotgun. The sound of it and probably more terrifying if you're on the back end of it. But um, it's got the flat dark earth finish on the receiver as well as on the barrel. And then it's got the true timber camo pattern. And it is beautiful. It is really, really nice. <clears throat> it's got the gel butt pad. And it also has the, um, the uh, a partial inertia system that pushes that bolt carrier back when you're shooting the larger rounds, it actually absorbs some of that recoil inside the, uh, inside the gun itself. So it doesn't transfer all that energy through to your shoulder. It actually takes those rounds pretty nice. Um, it cycles still a little on the stiff side. Right there, right? When you get back to, to, the, to the open position, but you know, it locks into place really nice. So the overall look of it, it looks pretty sexy. This is a nice, this is a nice looking gun. Um, I'm very impressed with it. It's like I said, it shoots really well. It's got that uh, a little bit of a higher vented rib sight rail. And I like that a little bit better just, and that's a personal preference of mine when I'm shooting so that I don't have to put my cheekbone right up against the, uh, the top of the, uh, of the buttstock. So I can actually keep more of my jaw or my, my cheek against it. And then I don't, I don't actually get, uh, <laughs> feel like you're getting punched in the face all the time. But, um, it's a beautiful shotgun. It shoots really nice. It's got the front cross bolt safety. I really like that. I'm used to the tang mount safety, but it, I have been learning to retrain myself to push the, the front <laughs> cross bolt safety. But, um, that's just uh, the preference. I'm really, really liking the, the, the front crossbolt safety. Um, from this position, when we're at the range and you, you click that pull to fire it, it's actually really, really nice. There's a small amount of free travel in the trigger, just a very small amount. And of course, it's got a really 
really crisp, really crisp trigger to it. Yeah, it's really nice. So I got my Lyman trigger puller. And I've done this a few times to this one here. And we're at that six pounds, seven ounces uh, for as far as the, the trigger pull. And that was basically an average out of three. So um, I know there, I didn't show you guys that I did the, the, the average of three, but I did do three before this video, just to double check. Um, and that's on the Lyman trigger puller. The overall length of this shotgun is 49 inches and it weighs seven pounds. So it's, it's a pretty light, I will say it is light. Um, I did read a couple of uh, reviews on on this um, on the SXP series that there were a lot of problems. This one here has been pretty darn good. I look forward to taking this down to the range and uh, doing some more clays, and then maybe later on this year, uh, it's 2022, so maybe later on this year, I will take this one out and do some uh, do some upland game bird hunting. So, my overall review of this is I would, re I would definitely uh, recommend this to a friend. Um, I will let other friends shoot it. I know that it's going to sell itself to, uh, to, to a few of my friends. But, um, yeah, that's kind of it for me. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I really appreciate it. If you haven't clicked that like button, please click the like button if you like the, the content of the video. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please go ahead and do that. Then you can get the notifications that they're, you know, for the next couple of videos that we're putting up. And we've got, we've got more shotguns. We've got more fun. We've got, uh, we're going to have some uh, uh, shotgun cleaning videos. Um, I might do some other... Uh, some other uh, guns as well that uh, that I do have. So anyways, that's it for me. Please click that like button. Please click that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. And always remember, keep both eyes on your target.